All right, folks, so we are back. It's a week later from the bee frenzy that we had going on last week. Uh, yeah, it didn't go as well as I had planned. They got really testy. Um, so we just let them calm down and this is the first chance I've had to get out here to finish what we were doing last week. Today what we're going to do, we are going to try to put the mouse guards on the front of the hive first so that way we're not, you know, in their way as they are agitated. We're also going to finish putting the apivar strips in our carniolan hive as well as our 10 frame battalions and then they're each going to get their bucket of syrup uh, 2 to 1 ratio as well so I also want to take a moment to show you what a frame looks like after it's been robbed out as you can see it's um, pretty picked over there's nothing left in it and the frame has lots of wax is just chewed out um, and that's the bees just getting in there taking whatever they can as quickly as they can and then getting out of there so that's what robbed out frames look like so I'll have to remember that in the future so that way if I ever see a hive that's empty and the frames look like this I'll know what robbing looks like so alright let's get back into the hives well I was just getting ready to do the filming for the mouse guards and I got to looking at the ground there are a, several yellow jacket carcasses on the ground down here I think they might have had some fighting with yellow jackets recently that would be why they have dead carcasses on the ground. All right, so the reason we're putting these mouse guards on now is because the fields have not been harvested yet. It's when the fields are cut down, like corn, and soybean, or whatever crop is out here. That'll be. Uh, that's when the uh, mice like to try to find new homes. So we want to try to get this on now so that way the mice don't think they can just move in uh, and wreck a colony because from what I've been told um, mice will uh, make a home and then cause havoc to the colony and then the, the bees will move out so or take away valuable resources for them so we definitely don't want that so all we're going to do is we're just going to put the mouse guards on now so we don't have to worry about it come winter time. One thing I had to keep in mind with these screws is they had to be uh, short enough that they didn't penetrate into the hive so that way I didn't accidentally screw any frames or uh, had the screw protrude into the box that might accidentally harm the bee. This is a good mouse guard I think. Uh, first year so I'm still learning but you got the openings here this is where the bees can go in and out of however if I ever need to close them up because they're getting robbed out or they're super aggressive or we're going to move them for whatever reason I can flip this upside down and it acts as ventilation without letting bees out but for the most part we're always going to leave it in just like this Ta-da! Just that easy. Before I get started on this next one, do you see how this colony over here is kind of bottlenecked at the entrance? That's just because they're not used to that being in the way and their normal flight path is a little bit disrupted uh, simply because the um, entrance has been reduced. That's okay. Give them a day and they'll be flying in and out of there with no problems. There we go. Easy as pie. All right, so today should be pretty sweet and simple. We're gonna get in, we're going to take the old bucket off. We're gonna put the apivar strips in around the brood. And then we'll put a fresh bucket on and close it up. So, should be relatively straightforward today. We won't be in the highs very long. Aww. And because of all the, the robbing and such that was going on last time, we've got some dead bees up here. Casualties. Well, that's alright. Last time was a bit of a fiasco, if you remember. Booming population. Woohoo. Now, 
What's crazy is most of these bees won't survive the winter. They're, the queen is currently laying eggs that will last six months. Those bees will last six months and the bees that you see out foraging right now will all be dead in the next six weeks. So, okay, got our apivar. Let's get that out. So it'll be a little easier to get to. I do have nitrile gloves on under my regular gloves, so that way I can more easily uh, take them off, handle the apivar, and then put these gloves back on, just in case there's a situation like last time. Okay. I want to shake the bees off that are under there, but I don't want to dump the dead bees in, so we'll knock them off that way. There we go. And we still have bees hanging on. So we'll set that here. Okay. All resources up here, so I don't even need to do anything there. We're just going to pull this off and set it to the side. Should feel pretty heavy. All righty, so I don't want to be in here too long. I don't want to start a robbing frenzy, but let's just do a quick scrape. It's all right that they're doing this. If you recall, this is a hive that had uh, lots of brace comb with the old queen excluder. We have taken our queen excluders off. Last week I said I think I got stung. I still don't know if I did or didn't. Uh, it would have been through my the back of my jeans. So I don't know if I did or didn't. I saw no stinger. I saw no bee at that time. Of course I also had lots of other bees all around me. So, All right, let's put some ape of our strips in. We're going to put one here and then one here. We're trying to be on either side of our brood pocket, which we know we're on the center five frames. And all we're going to do is we're going to take one of our little nails and it goes through the pre-drill hole at the top of each ape of our strip. You just break these in half. And the nail can go through the top just like this. Just like that. Nail going through. You don't actually nail it into anything. You simply use the nail to stay on top of the hive. I'm oh, sorry. You use the nail to keep the ape of our strip on top of the frame. Right, we're going to set this down. And in 46 days, we're going to come out and we're going to take these out because we don't need to leave them in any longer than that per recommendations of the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So I've never used Apivar before. I've heard other very notable beekeepers that do. And I know some very reputable beekeepers that don't use them for a variety of reasons. So just like that, and they'll stay in there. So right on top. Line the corners up. There we go. Let's put the inner cover back on. Okay, we got the front entrance there for them to be able to get in and out. Let's get a new bucket. We've had some cool nights lately. It's been getting down into the upper 40s a couple of nights and had about three or four days where the temperatures were in the mid to low 70s. However, we're going to have a bump up in temperature this coming week. It's going to get right back up into the 80s and we'll have some gorgeous nights. So we're not going to do any of the winter prep yet. 
Uh, looks like we've got at least another week of really nice summer weather before we do anything. Uh, we'll just take it one week at a time. Um, but we are making plans to uh, do some uh, moisture management in the colonies as well as some insulation around the hives. Um, if you want to keep up with me on how those things are going as I build them, be sure to check out our Instagram, which you can find right here. This is where I'll post pictures, uh, you know, a couple times a week on things that I'm currently working on and the status of our project. So be sure to check out that link for the Instagram. All right, let's do the same thing for the carniolans. We're just going to open it up and take the bucket off. Insert the ape of our strips, put a new bucket back on, and that's it. Alrighty, same thing. Let's scrape off some burr comb, insert the ape of our. So we did a mite check, and this is a hive that had uh, 15 mites in it for about 300 bees. So that's not super high, but it's higher than I would like to see. And because we had a you know semi decent mite load in this one, a small mite load in our tiny Italian hive, and none in the tin frames, we're just going to put Aprovar in all the frames. We just don't want there to be a chance that the tin frame Italians, even though they look great right now, uh, could be a mite bomb later, as some people call it, where they don't have anything now, but then give them two weeks, and then all of a sudden we've got you know hundreds of mites in the colony, and it's going to lead to the collapse of the colony by the end of the winter. That's never a good thing. This is how I want my bees to be. Nice and calm. We're going to go right here because I can see brood. I'm going to go straight down like that. And see I can see brood right there I think. We're going to go right here. Same situation, straight down, held in place by a nail, easy as pie. So that's all we're going to do. Aprovar in, let's put it back together, put a bucket on top and call this hive a wrap. That's an easy 50 pounds. Talk about a better day. This went so much better than last week. They were calm, we were able to do everything we needed to in the hive today and I didn't feel like I was getting attacked, so yay! This was great. Uh, we did get mice guards on the other two hives now, so all the hives have that new mouse guard on the front. Every hive has apivar, every hive has a bucket of syrup with some honeybee healthy in it, and we're, you know, pretty good right now. We're just kind of condensing down, waiting for the winter bees to start coming on, and then once the temperatures start getting cooler at night, we'll start doing some of our winter prep. Um, be sure to catch me on Instagram, because I am posting some of the things I am doing to help the bees when we get ready for that winter time. Link will be down in the description. Love to have you check us out and join us on Instagram. Uh, but stay tuned next time for some more videos. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on all the things that are happening here in the, the apiary. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll catch you guys next time.